السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا أبده ورسوله الحمد لله today we are going to learn سورة الفيل Feel in Arabic language is called uh, elephant. So it, uh, it does not mean that this surah is talking about the elephants. Only the feel, uh, al feel word is used in uh, this surah, uh, referring to one story. Uh, it is a famous story we all know. We are learning this story from our childhood. So uh, this feel word is referring to that story. Okay, we'll continue. Uh, the only name is Al-Feel. There is no other name for this surah. Verses are five. It's Makki surah and in sequence in Quran, 105th surah. Alhamdulillah. So, Aisha, can you recite? Yeah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول ما شاء الله very good جزاك الله خيرا تقبل الله منك الحمد لله so we'll continue to our learning and studying okay just few questions Aisha when uh, the story of uh, elephant happened in which year Amal feel like uh, in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam No, born. give me the year. Oh, the year? I'm not sure. Asha, you are not audible. Where your voice is going? Um, Am I audible now? No, not uh, not clearly. Not really. Um, well, I, I'm not really sure about the year, but... Um, uh... Okay, Ashifa, when it happened, which year? So I don't know the year, but it was on the year when Prophet so that was is, That is another answer. Yes, sir. So any other student? Sir, uh, sir 571. 570. 570. 570. Okay. 570. That is the same year in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa born. Okay. So, 570. Okay. Now, next question, Aisha. Who was the leader of uh, the people of Elephant? Abraha. Okay, just give me one minute. Okay. Ghazala, who was Abraha? Sir, he was the king of Yemen. King or governor? Governor of Yemen. Yes, sir, governor. Okay. So he was governor of Yemen. Very good. So, just simply in uh, one line, Iram, what was the reason for his uh, attack on uh, Makkah? Uh, Abraham wanted to attract the... Uh... What was the reason why he attacked Makkah? So, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Okay, so Abraha wanted to attract the trade to Yemen. This was the reason. Okay, Sana Afzal, is she right? This was the reason. No, I don't think so that uh, this was the reason 
But so what exactly was the reason what then? That I was... uh, the rivalry was, I think, there was some rivalry. Uh... Oh, no, no. Okay, hmm. so we'll, we'll uh, yes, you almost, you, you all people are near, but just listen. Actually, Can I tell sir? Sir, 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 no, people wait, are... wait, no, people wait. Are... Okay, so actually, these Yemenis, they wanted the people who are going to Mecca, they should come to Yemen. They wanted to shift the trade from Mecca to Yemen. For that reason, they built a building in their country, in Yemen, in Sana'a. So they built that building beautiful. And they given messages to the, uh, to the world that we have a much better place to come. And they referred it as it was referring, uh, uh, as the Mecca was called uh, in the world. I don't want to call it so. Now, one guy from Mecca, he went to Yemen, to that building. He entered in the building and he done his toilet there. And after doing that toilet, he placed that that shit on the walls of that building. So when they in the next day they come to know that there is some problem in the room or in the building which they made. So they inquired who done it. The so people told that uh, one guy from uh, Mecca he came and he done it. So Abraha this information approached to Abraha and Abraha got angry. That was the reason to attack Mecca. For trade, they already uh, built a building and they wanted the people to attract to that building. But that story, what I told you now, that was a reason which caused Abraha to get angry and to attack. So he, he took permission from the king to attack uh, Mecca and he was very angry. He was having the elephants and his army to approach to Mecca. So now we'll learn, inshallah. Aisha and Ashifa, can you join? Yes, sir. Yes. Aisha, what is A? Uh, it's harf istifam. Okay, it's harf. Very good. Ashifa, what is lam? Huruf jazima. Very good. Harfu Jazim. Harfu Jazim. So Harfu Jazim. This lam is used with Madi or Mudare or both? Mudari. Mudari. Mudare. Good. So Iram Tara. Is fail Mudare or Madi? It is fail Mudare. Which kind of fail Mudare? So it is uh, Sulasi Mujara. Yes. No. When I say kind, it means. Marfu, Mansu, Majroor. Okay, it is Majzoom. Why it is Majzoom? Because of Lam. Very good. Diba, Lam, what does it uh, do? What are the Sir, effects it... of Lam? So it makes fail Muzari Majzoom. Mansub. And then man Majzoom. Okay, Majzoom. Yes, sir. So it uh, takes the meaning to the past tense and give and gives the strong negation. To the past. Okay. Remember, the basic, the basic effect of this is nafi. Okay. Yes. It is harfu nafi. Minal jawazim, but it is nafi. So it is the first use of lam. Then these are the secondary majzoom, and it makes the sentence translated to madi. Okay. What is the file of Tara, Ghazala? Sir, Anta. Very good, Anta. So, what is the root letter, Aisha Daniya? Um, it's Ra Hamza Ya, and it's from Bab Dot. Very good, Bab Fa. Oh, no. Ra Yara, okay. Okay, Bab Fa. Okay. Anta file. Bab Fa, okay. So, how you will translate Ashifa? Alam Tara? Did you see? Did you see? Okay. Good. Now, 
راب الگ کی کیفا واٹ از کیفا مادی اور مدارے اضافی Now remember, this kaifa is used in Arabic if it is in jumla failia, okay, it will be maf'ool, okay, for verbal sentence. If it is with kana, it will be hal, okay, in that case, if kana is having his khabar available, if خبر از ناٹ دیر دین وی ول کال کیفا از خبر او کانا خبر اوکے ناؤ دس کیفا از مفعول بٹ فار فعلا اوکے اٹ از دا مفعول اف فعلا یعنی فعلا رب کا بی اصحاب الفیل کیفا وائی اٹ از ان دا بیگننگ رابع لکی Why you are not using after the Ashabil feel? This is a question uh, sentence. Yes. That's why. Yes, that's why. Now, can you translate Rabia Lucky? Kaifa fa'ala rabbu ka bi Ashabil feel? Kaifa. Kaifa is the how of... Then... Um... What is how you fa'ala rabbuka? And how fa'ala, fa'ala, that's mean uh, like a, you deal, uh, you did like a something of fa'ala. You can say deal, to deal. Deal, okay. Kaifa how you fa'ala deal, rabbuka? Uh, rabbuka, uh, how your lot uh, deal? Dealt, okay, because Madi, how your lot dealt? اوکے Iram, can you translate completely? Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-feel? Okay. Have you not considered how your Lord dealt with the companions of the elephant? Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now, kaifa we understood. It is maf'ool in jumla fa'liya. Now, this whole sentence from here to here. Okay. Until here. This whole sentence. It is maf'ool of tara. Okay, this whole sentence is maf'ool of tara. Now this kaifa in jumla ismiya, how it is used? For example, I'll say kaifa haluki. How, how are you? Kaifa haluki. So in jumla ismiya, actually kaifa is khabar muqaddam. And haluk mubtada muqaddam. Mubtada muqaddam. If I say kaifa khalidun, khalibu khalidun, mubtada muakhar, khabar muqaddam kaifa. That is how it in jumla ismiya. So alhamdulillah, mashallah, you all are doing very good. Okay, we'll slightly read from uh, Sheikh Saadi what he said. He said, that is, have you not seen the might and power of Allah, his mercy towards his slaves, and the evidence of his oneness and the truthfulness of his messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him? 
namely the way in which he dealt with the army of element who plotted against his sacred house and wanted to destroy it. So, it is a question to Rasulullah Sallallahu but to everyone, not to, not me in these kind of ayah. It is, it is to everyone who is listening, who is reading. For alam tara kaifa, it means I also have to think about it. Alam tara kaifa, fa ala rabbu kabi ashabil fil. How he dealt, that's why I narrate his story shortly. So that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dealt with that strong, big army alone, alone, no human involvement. Okay, we'll move to next ayah. Now, A and Lam is the same thing. We'll move forward. Sana Afzal, Yaj Al, it is which verb, Madi or Mudare? So it is Muzare. Muzare must zoom here because of lam. What is the file? File is uh, uh, hua. Hua. Referring to where? Referring to to rabbu. Yes, rab rabbu. Where? Rab. Uh, referring yes. to rab. Rab. Please always try to uh, give the good audio because sometimes it's difficult to listen to understand. Okay, so inshallah. Uh, the continuously problem coming with the voice, Sana with you and Aisha Dania, Aisha Dania with you, it is a continuous. When you recite, the, at that time it is good. But when you are answering, yeah, then it is difficult. Okay, thanks. So okay, Alam Yaj'al, Hua is file, which is referring to Rabbuka, to Alam Yaj'al. Now, Aisha Kaidahum, it is which Murakkab? Um, it's mudaf mudaf ilay. Very good. Kaida, why it is mansub? Because it's maf'ul. Very good. Because it is maf'ul. Rabi alaki fi tadlilin. How you will make this connected with the sentence? Mutalik to with yajal. To mutalik to yajal. Very good. Okay, that the answers are very good. So. Ashifa Yajal, what is the root letter and chapter of that verb? Ja'ala Yajalu Babfa. Very good. Babfa. Jim Ain Lam root letters. Kaid. Kaidun. Word Kaidun, this noun, it means to plot. Okay. Sometimes we are plotting something, we're planning. So planning can be good and can be bad. Okay, so for example, we are planning, we are making some tricks to do something. We can do for something positive also. But whenever this noun is referred to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then this plot is the good plot. Okay. Now here, this tadlil, what does it mean tadlil? It means to astray. To not get the right uh, spot. For example, you made a plan, it uh, did not went well, it means it astrayed. It went from the right way. The way you were using, it was not continuing the same way, it went on the wrong way. That is called astrayed. So you, you forgot the way, you missed the way, correct way, and you, you ended up in something wrong. So, alam yaj al kaidahum. Ghazala, can you translate until kaidahum? Alam yaj al kaidahum. Have 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 not did not he uh, make their plan? Yes, did not he make their plan or plot? Fi tadlilin, sana afzal. Fi tadlilin. The translation will be uh, as uh, went as you know go astray. Yes, and into misguidance. Did he mm -hmm. not make their plan into misguidance? Their plan was misguided. For example, these people who are making these missiles, misguided missile. It means they guided it to go to Israel and it went to Jordan. It is misguided. They planned for Israel but went to Jordan. That is called misguided. Nowadays, all the Muslim countries' missiles are misguided. 
coming to their own countries. Pakistan, if they want to use missile, it will directly come to their own nation. All Muslim countries are dealing uh, their people same. They are only killing and uh, oppressing their own people and forgetting these Yahud and these all Christians. Alam yajal kaidahum fi tadulil. They equipped themselves for that purpose and brought with them an elephant to destroy it. They came with a huge army from Ethiopia and Yemen that the Arabs could not withstand. So that was their kait. They planned. They brought an elephant. They brought an army from Ethiopia, from Yemen, and they wanted to destroy Arabs and the Baytullah. But what happened? وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ Diba Farid, Arsala is which verb? So it is Fil Madi. Fil Madi, what is the chapter? So, Bab Ifal, Arsala Yursilu. Root letter? <laughs> Sir, Ra Seen Lam. What is file? So, Hua is the file. Okay, so it is referring to where Hua? So, towards Rab. Very good. <laughs> Sana Abzal, Tair and why it is Mansub? So it is uh, becoming Maful for uh, uh, Arsala. Very good. Aisha, Alayhim, how you will answer this for this sentence? It's Matalik. Very good. Now your voice is very good, clear. Right, Aisha? Yeah, because I'm having headphones on. Yes. Ababila, why it is Mansub Diba? So, because it is Sifth for Tairan. Very good. It's Sifth of Tairan. So, what does it mean, Ababil Diba? So, uh, the groups. Groups, the? flocks. Groups, sir. Group. Yeah. Or... Uh, yeah. The groups of... Uh, birds. Birds called flock. Flocks. Flocks. Not one flock. You see, jam, jam un. Okay. Yes, what sir. is the singular of ababil? It is ibilun. It means one flock. Or abbaul, ibbaul. Or ibbaul. One of them is, it, it can be this or this. Ibil, it means one flock of the, the, the birds. So, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he said? Tairan ababila. Different flocks. And tairan, it is used as collective noun. Okay? Yes, sir. It means not single one bird. It means the gender is used only just to collective noun. But remember, Tairan is Nakira. It means the bird is not specified. It was parrot. It was uh, hen. It was uh, whatever. So... Now, there is, what people are saying, see, this is Ababil. They pick uh, some bird, go, they are going to Haram. And in, in Haram, the birds are flying there. Normally, only one bird is flying there. They are catching this bird sometime and making videos and pictures. See, this is Ababil. Allah sent it. How you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this bird to Makkah? They will answer, no, because it is in Makkah. Allah can send birds in a seconds from anywhere. From anywhere. So, there's when we don't have any dalil, we don't have anything to prove it, then we should not say anything. There's no benefit to know it. That uh, which bird Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. That the thing to get the, the real message, people are not focusing. How you will translate Ashifa? And he sent upon them uh, flocks of birds. Okay, very good. When they reached the vicinity of Makkah, have encountered no resistance from Arabs, and the people of Makkah fled the city, fearing for their lives, Allah sent against them birds and flocks, that is, in scattered groups, carrying heated stones of baked clay. Heated stones of black, black, uh, baked clay. Not only cold, heated so it means it's, they were like nukes. What happened? Okay. 
इरम तरमी विच व मादी और मुदारे थैंक यू मुदारे रूट लेटर रॉ मीम या फाइल फाइल इज हियर वेरी गुड व्हाई इट इज हियर सो बिकॉज़ इट इज कमिंग फॉर तैरन वेरी गुड तैरन and it is here because it is collective noun okay yes if it was singular then there will there was not tarmi it could be yarmi okay yes this aya is clearing us that this tairan is collective noun but another thing ababil why plural is used with tairan if tairan is wahid because tairan is used as collective noun that's why ababil is also plural and tarmi him wahid muannas pronoun why it is wahid monas pronoun because tayran is collective noun and ghairu aqil for tayran since it is collective nouns ghairu aqil we are using wahid muannas pronoun okay tarmi what is him here rabia lucky him is the one who is mafulun bihi very good maful it is referring to which reverting to which noun in the previous verses referring to hmm. very easy is ar ar arsala no who is him what does it mean him um. he they 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 both what them what them um प्रीवियस वर्सेज कुरान इज ओपन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यस Okay, check where it is going. Ah, uh, that's the in a b b ashab will feel. Very good, ashab. It is plural. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, I forgot to ask in the previous verse. This alai him him zamir him pronoun. It is also going to ashab. Okay, rama yarmi. It is from baad rama yarmi. It means to throw, to throw stones only, not to throw anything. to throw stones so tarmi him how you will translate aisha daniya tarmi him um strike in them yes to like strike in them me him bi hijaratin so you you want to strike with what it will come with ba harf jar so this is mutallik fail tarmi so can you translate aisha tarmi him bi hijaratin uh uh striking them with stones very good striking them with stones they were striking who they here yeah, actually uh, the birds min sijil now remember when you have one noun nakira nakira noun singular after that you have jar majrur most probably it will be sifa of hijara even from translator you can, you can come to know sijil it means hard clay big clay so now can you translate uh, ghazala full tarmihim bi hijaratin min sijil striking them with uh, stones of baked clay very good so this full sentence actually it is sifa of tairan second sifa first is ababil okay Okay, now we'll move forward. Fajala hum kaas fim maakul. Sana Abzal, what is jala? Fajala is a film azi. What is file? <laughs> what is file? Who a file? Who a file here? Forgive my coughing because I have problem for three four days. Okay, what is the chapter? Of uh, Jaala, Diva. Uh, ba Baafa. Okay, Baafa. No problem. And file is Hua going to Rabbuka. What is Hum in this sentence, Iram? 
it is maful it is maful this hum zameer is reverting to where the to ashabul fi ha huh? ashabul fi ashab okay good what is kaf aisha jar har jar very good so asfim maqul in sana afzal what is this here so it is uh, mutalliq uh, fail here but uh, ism majroor mutarif mutalliq fail which murakkab ka asfim maqul ka asfim maqul is uh, murakkab e izafi izafi sorry tawsifi murakkab e tawsifi it is yes. maqul is which type of noun uh it is uh, ismul maf'ul ismul maf'ul maf'ulun ma'kulun what is the root yeah. letter uh hamza kaf wow hamza kaf lam lam yes lam sorry hamza kaf ya akulu okay to eat akilun the guy who eats ismul fa'il ma'kulun what he eats okay as mm -hmm. what is as factory uh maybe you have you have seen in the agriculture field after cutting the crops people are burning the crops correct have you observed observed it yes sir after burning those crops whatever is remained is called asf mm. or you are observing animals are eating their food their grass and whatever they are leaving is called as okay okay and uh, when you are actually extracting uh, wheat from the field after extracting mm -hmm. the, those the, the wheat whatever is remained and it get, it gets dry it is called as these are all as so how allah subhanahu wa taala made them فَجَعَلَهُمْ قَأَسْفٍ مَأْكُولٍ Can you translate Ghazala? And he made them like eaten straw. Very good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them like eaten straw. They pelted the army with those stones and struck them all from the first to the last of them. They were turned into lifeless bodies and became like a crop devoured and trampled. Allah dealt with their evil and caused their plot to backfire and their story is very well known alhamdulillah so today we completed uh, surah al fil that i would request you please whatever you are learning whatever you learned until now from surah al nas until here try every day to repeat it by yourself open the quran every day try by yourself okay this is qul this is huwa this is allahu this is ahadun try, try to uh, read the meaning by yourself try to re, uh, to recall the grammar what you learned here inshallah within one chapter one juz will complete it as mashallah you are going very good i am very relaxed i am enjoying with you because you people are answering very good so that's the, that is uh, it mean i'm really i'm very satisfied with that so i don't feel boring i don't care about the number of students that's why because mashallah you people are coming in every lecture and i hope you are also enjoying but i am also enjoying with you to to explain uh, these all uh, things may allah subhanahu wa taala accept from me from you from us and may allah fir forgive our mistakes during all these studies because our knowledge is not complete so we can make mistakes during explanation during uh, answering during questioning so we ask allah subhanahu wa taala for his mercy and for his forgiveness may allah forgive us all barakallahu fikum subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina muhammad amin ya rabbal alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh